Hey guys, I want to talk to you guys today about perimeniscal cysts. Essentially what happens in some patients that have a meniscal tear, essentially primarily is the lateral meniscus. This is the one that I'm demonstrating, the inside of the knee is medial, lateral. The tear allows fluid to come out, outside of the joint, and you develop a perimeniscal cyst right here. On, on MRI, you could see that <clears throat> essentially medial side, lateral side, this is the meniscus right there, and the fluid kind of came out and got stuck out there and it became a cyst. Essentially, well, um, in this patient, I was asked to drain the cyst. Obviously, this is the patient now. This is a much smaller cyst than the one I saw I showed you before. In this view, you could make it, you can see it a little bit better. Um, fluid here looks bright, so this is the perimeniscal cyst. Uh, in a couple of next video, I'm going to show you how to drain this with ultrasound guidance. All right, guys, so uh, here I want to show you how you could identify a perimeniscal cyst on ultrasound. Essentially, the first what you want to do is just find the lateral joint line. This is the lateral meniscus. This is the patient that already had surgery, but the perimeniscal cyst was still causing her pain after the surgery. So instead of taking the patient back to the operating room, I was asked to put a needle in there and drain, which is something that we could easily do with ultrasound. Um, let me do a couple of clips here so you could actually let me see if I could get to this. Essentially, in this video, <clears throat> you could see my needle, an 18 gauge needle on the direct ultrasound guidance, getting inside of the uh, perimeniscal cyst to drainage, so that, which is uh, um, the demonstrated in this image. Uh, the few things that you want to make sure you look out, this is the lateral knee, so the perineal nerve is going to be right in the vicinity. The first thing you always do when you do any ultrasound guidance procedures is to pre-plan the procedure. So you find the nerve, you map it out, make sure you stay away from, from the trajectory. And again, in this case, this was pretty easy to do. Another thing that uh, I think in this case, which is pretty interesting, this patient had a small little uh, blood vessel, which I'm actually you could actually see it pulsating right in here, uh, right adjacent to the perimeniscal cyst pretty close, um, but with ultrasound, you could easily see it and uh, number one, avoid it. Uh, I think I took a picture and I, how close I was. So that, that vessel was about one millimeter away from my needle. Again, but as you, if you're seeing it, then you're not, you're, you're going to stay in the safe side. I hope you guys enjoy the video.